When the staff of The Simpsons sat down to write the 31st edition of the show's annual, Treehouse of Horror, Halloween anthology in 2019, they knew that the 2020 presidential election would be the scariest subject they could tackle. That's why, Treehouse of Horror 31, which airs on October 18th at 8 p.m. On Fox, opens with an election parody that's not for the faint of heart. We predict what will happen on January 20th if people like Homer don't smarten up a little. Longtime Simpsons showrunner, Al Jean, teased during the All-Star The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror at Paley Front Row 2020. Amazingly, most of it was written a year ago, and all of it still seems true. Watch the panel above. Simpsons fans know that the show has a knack for seeing into the future, whether it was predicting President Donald Trump back in 2000 or calling the winners of multiple Super Bowls. But there's one thing that the writers didn't predict while writing their own 2020 election parody, that Americans would be casting ballots for either President Trump or Vice President Joe Biden during the midst of a deadly pandemic. Luckily, the show's lengthy production process allowed them to correct the historical record at the last minute. When viewers watch the Treehouse segment this weekend, they'll see that Springfield has a coronavirus era mask policy that everyone, except Homer, Natch, abides by. The masks came later. Gene revealed, remembering how he asked the episode's director, Steve Moore, to ensure that Springfield's assorted citizens masked up. We said, put everyone in a mask in Springfield except Homer. The masks look different on everybody. It was great. Hosted by Yeardley Smith, the voice of Lisa Simpson, the Paley Front Row 2020 panel allowed Gene and Moore, as well as executive producer Matt Selman and supervising director Mike B. Anderson, the chance to reflect on 30 years of Treehouse antics. The very first, Treehouse of Horror, aired on October 25, 1990, and Gene remembers being uncertain of how viewers would respond at the time. There was a fear that this is an animated show watched by children, he recalled. We were afraid people would be running away. In the first show, I don't think anybody died. Now we have thousands. And those are just the ones not wearing masks. In honor of the 30th anniversary of Treehouse, here are some other tales about this horrifically hilarious franchise culled from the Paley panel and the Yahoo Entertainment archives. It's hard to pick the single best Treehouse of Horror segment, but Smith has a go-to personal favorite. I will never forget the parody we did of The Raven, the actress says during the Paley panel, referring to the story that closed out the very first Treehouse anthology in 1990. It was so beautifully animated and I just think at that time you hadn't seen anything like that in animation. Speaking with Yahoo Entertainment in March, Smith said that the original, Treehouse, still stands apart from the pack in terms of its scare factor. It was dark, she said. It was sort of a parody of horror, but it was much edgier than the current Treehouses of horror that we do. They went to the mat. In a 2015 Yahoo Entertainment interview celebrating the 25th anniversary of the first Treehouse, David Silverman, who directed the Raven segment, said that he was specifically told to make their Poe homage funnier. Executive producer James Brooks was like, you need more jokes in this, he recalled. So he threw out the idea of Bart as the Raven saying, eat my shorts. 
and I tried to find other places where humor could be added. I had a lot of fun coming up with interesting shots. One of my favorites is the Raven's point of view of Homer as it's flying around the room. Quote, 